this morning I woke up with this thought on my mind and it's a deep thing there might be multiple videos about this do you know what you want out of life like if someone came to you and early in the morning like six six in the morning and was like hey do you know what you want out of life they were very direct and it's like what do you want what are the top 10 things that you want out of life and I had a question I, I remember years and years ago someone I knew I asked them hey what do you want out of life because we were talking about building businesses and stuff and he hit me up with this crazy articles of incorporation and you know I was like what do you want and this is a very big piece of why so many people don't have what they want in life because they don't know what they want in life. I know that sounds super simple. It sounds amazingly simple. It sounds very not that complex, but I got a question for you and I want you to put it in the the comments name the top 10 things that you want out of life top 10 things because when you start getting into that what exactly does this person want out of life and we get into the naming the um, putting it down saying hey this is what I want out of life exactly it gets a little fuzzy and years ago when I was listening to the book the power of your subconscious mind and I had got into the Earl Nightingale system so to speak I began to know exactly what I wanted and I think for the first time for myself I think this was the the first time that I actually knew or had a really good understanding of what I wanted out of life and when I say what do you want because you know everyone like wants to be happy everyone wants good credit everyone wants a great uh, FICO score and all this other stuff but what exactly do you want out of life what exactly are you looking for or want to have out of life once again I'm gonna say it probably three or four times put the top ten things that you want out of life in the comment section because there, there's a reason that I'm asking you to do this now I'm gonna walk you through an exercise of how I have reset myself now one of the things let's talk about this car the first time I saw a Porsche that I wanted was 2016 it was a beautiful blue color and I saw this Porsche and I really wanted it right and I, I really really saw this car I, I was over by the Porsche dealership and I got out of my car and went over to the dealership went over to the car looked at it saw it went inside got a salesperson opened up the car sat in it test drove it but this is one of the things that I, I've learned this is one of the things that has made me essentially very powerful is I don't just do stuff off the cuff like the car I, I remember telling the salesperson hey I want to look at this car but I'm not going to buy it today 
That was my exact verbiage to the salesperson. And then I, I looked at the car, then I went home, and I started writing down some goals. Because could I have gotten that car that day? Yes, I could have financed the car, but I wasn't where I wanted to be. Number one, I wasn't where I wanted to be. So I went ahead, wrote down some goals, and for the next three years, I worked on my business, making my business bigger, better, bolder, and one day, I looked at my checking account, and I was like, oh, hmm. And I went to the Porsche dealership, and I had more than enough money to buy the Porsche. The lesson I want to explain to you is, when I was in that boarding house, when I was going through all of those changes and that situation, I reset myself. I don't have to do things just to do things, if, if that makes sense. Let me, let me make that really clear. I don't have to do things to get a certain kind of result. I don't have, I don't live my life like that. Everything that I want, like I'll, I'll share some with you. I don't think I've ever talked about it. Um, recently, I was in negotiation, negotiations to buy this condo, three million dollar condo. And once again, this is something the real estate trapper has said. Condos really don't appreciate like houses. And I saw this over and over and over again. And um, was going through the negotiations with the owner and stuff. He wanted X, Y, he wanted a bunch of money down for me to assume his loan. And then, cause the thing is, the condo I was looking at, it's in a building that's not, that doesn't have a warranty. These condos re require special financing. So I was like, okay, let's kind of look at that. And we kind of talked about it. And he said some stuff and there were some things on the table that I didn't like, that didn't make sense. So I was in a position to break my lease, to move out, to move to this condo. And once I got into the deal making aspect, and once I started to see things that I didn't like, that didn't make sense, that really came off the table, I went ahead, I exited the deal, and I let my apartment community know that I wasn't going, because I had put in, I was going to break the lease, and I just went ahead and canceled all that, and I went back to my paperwork, and I was like, you know, next time I want to buy a condo, this is the position that I want to be in. And I, I went ahead, left that alone, I'll be where I'm at until my lease is up. And then as I was going through this process, I started to think, it started to hit me that I want a house again. Because here's the thing with the condo. Houses appreciate, houses can appreciate like crazy. Condos typically do not, and typically the newer condos will sell for more than the older condos. And I saw this whole process again. So more than likely, more than likely, I'll be moving back into a house. But, you know, I can get into a house like right now pretty easy. But I'm just gonna let my lease expire and move out that way because breaking the lease was gonna cost me a month's rent to break the lease, which I was fully prepared to pay and to do. But once I sat down and thought about it, really, really thought about it, my opinion changed. And this is something that I, I leave 
room on the table to change my mind, to come at it from a different angle, to make allowances, to do something a little different. Because that's just the way that I am now. I didn't used to be this way. I used to be very much, um, I want it, we can, we can do it, we can make it happen. This is how I ended up having a car, doing Tidal Pond. This is how I ended up having stuff put in the pawn shop. This is how I ended up having a lot of very bad issues because I wasn't patient, but more importantly, I didn't have a firm grasp of understanding of exactly what I wanted. You know, you're out, you see something, it looks good, you're like, I want that. And then you get home and you look at it again, it's like, eh, I'm not really feeling that. I've not had those kind of conversations with myself in years. I've not had that type of situation going on in my life in years because typically I like to plan out my purchases, plan out my situation, plan out what I'm gonna do and make my moves from a strategic, articulate standpoint. But even doing that, certain things do not change. You still must know exactly what you want. And this is one of the things that helped me so much with my Craigslist protocols. One of the things that I would do before I would write ads is I would write what kind of woman that I wanted to answer the ad. I knew exactly what I was looking for. Height, weight, hair color, eye color, disposition. I knew exactly what I wanted to show up and about 75% of the time, I got exactly what I was looking for, which was great. And that's part of knowing exactly what you want. And that's part of having the proper mindset. Because right now, you know, there is, um, and I'm, I, I need to reset my uh, males channel because I'm resetting everything. It's just a little bit at a time. But th this whole notion of passport pros, once again, I don't understand it because you live in the United States of America with access to some of the greatest resources in the world and recently I kind of heard something I haven't investigated but apparently one of the passport bros got stuck in another country and I'm just sitting here I'm like I'm thinking number one this guy doesn't know exactly what he wants <clears throat> that that's that's affirmative number two he doesn't know how to sit down and set himself up to get what he wants. Number three, he got caught up by the internet algorithm because, you know, I was in the gym the other day and I was wearing my Schofield Barracks hat. That's the green hats with the Tropic Lightning in the center. And this guy stopped me and he, he was like, I haven't seen that symbol in years. You know, he was stationed there. And this is something that's gonna shock a lot of you. I meet people all of the time who've never heard of the YouTube controversy. And I'm going somewhere with this. There are some people who ultimately live online. They live online. They have relationships online. They have boyfriends, girlfriends. They're in situations where they have relationships with people they have not even met or seen 
and because they live online. But there's another group of people who live out here in the real world. And it's very interesting because I meet people all of the time who've never heard of the YouTube controversy. And it's kind of funny because one of the things that you have to understand and one of the things that you have to be aware of is the world works in a certain order. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you are. If you as a person doesn't have a deep understanding of knowing exactly what you want, it's gonna be hard for you to get it. It's gonna be real hard for you to get what you think that you want. And thinking what you want and knowing what you want because let's go back to this car. I kept checking up on this car and the feeling intensified. It didn't get less, it didn't go away, it didn't change. And then I probably could have got this car a few years earlier, honestly, but you know, I had the heart attack in 2019 and that kind of slowed my roll because for seven months, my only goal was to get better and to get healthier. And that took some time. That took a moment to do. So one of the things that I want to bring with to you and share with you is, and once again, this is gonna be the third time because I've learned I have to do things over and over again. Uh, one of the things that I want to do is to get you to get a better understanding of the things that you want, the things that you need, the things that you want to have in life so you can actually get those things in life. Because it's a process. It's, it's, a, it's a serious process. And a lot of people are unaware of this process. They are unaware of how to activate this process. And they're just out here living life in a very curious manner without understanding the things that they need to do, the mindset they need to have, the abilities that they need to have, and just setting themselves up for success across many different spectrums. Because one of the things that you have to understand is you can set yourself up for many, many different paths of success if you understand how success is generated, if you understand the things that you need to do to be successful, if you can get a firm grasp on what is possible. And I'm speaking from someone who grew up in a house that did not have indoor plumbing. That's how I grew up. I grew up in a house that didn't have indoor plumbing until I was about, I would say nine or 10. So a lot of things are possible for the people who are willing to dig in and understand the situation. Because if you are willing to dig in, if you're willing to do the work, and I'm gonna talk about what is digging in, because I use that expression and a lot of people don't know what digging in. Digging in, number one, knowing exactly what you want. That's critical. The ability to know exactly what you want without a doubt. To know to, and it doesn't change. Like, you know, it could be four years in the future and this thing that you want, you still want it, because you understand the path and the process of getting the things that you want. You understand the things that you have to do to get the things that you want. And you have a greater understanding of the process of getting the things that you want. Because once again, um, 
I'm going to speak somewhat elegantly, very elegantly. As a man, I've been able to get the type of women that I wanted, truly desired, was proud to go out on a date with over and over and over. Why is that? Because I know exactly what I want. I know exactly what I will deal with. I know exactly how to talk to these women because I know what I want. But if you're one of those people who is dating someone for your friends, and I will define that, there's this woman from a visual appeal. She's super, super hot. She's immaculate. She's really good to go. But from a personality standpoint, from some other issues, there's a lot of things missing for you as a man. There's a lot of things that are not on the table. There's a lot of things that are wrong, but you will stick and continue to be with this woman because everyone that looks at her, is like, okay, I understand why he's with her because she looks like that. Even though there are many, many other areas of the relationship that go unfulfilled because you have not qualified exactly what you want. You have not worked it out. You have not set it up. You have not identified these things. And it shows, it shows quite a bit because once again, this will probably be the fourth time. In the comment section, I want you to write down the 10 things that you want. And for some of you, it's gonna be a struggle because you'll start like, you'll come up with two or three and like, well, I don't know. I don't, and it's gonna start to get very iffy, very scratchy, very hard for you to figure out what you want because you haven't done the work. I'll give you an example. Uh, one of the things that was on the list for the Porsche, I wasn't going to get a Porsche and be living in an apartment. Now, this is me. This is part of the thought process that I have. I'm not going to be driving in a Porsche living in an apartment. Even though <laughs> I drive a Porsche and I live in a very expensive apartment. It's kind of funny how that worked out. But one of the things that's going to happen for me in the future is having certain priorities, having certain options, having certain things. And this is kind of crazy. Is this a dog or is this a chick? I'm just over here being nosy because I'm seeing all this hair and I'm thinking that this is a dog and it is a very big dog. So, one of the things that I feel that you can do and you can set up is everything in your life, from where you live, to how you dress, to whom you date, to whom you marry, all of this can be set up if you're willing to do the work upon yourself. If you're willing to dive into the layers of developing the process, and this is probably gonna be the fifth time I'm gonna say this, in the comment section, please write down the 10 top things that you want out of life, whether you have them or not. Let me be clear about that, whether you have them or not, because one of the things that I consistently see on the internet is a lot of fronting, fakeness, um, this imagination. This is like people would rather pretend to be somewhere than to actually do it and actually be there. That's one of the things that I consistently see. And ask yourself, are you living your life for yourself or are you living your life for other people? That is going to be a big part of future success, a big part of you being very successful, and a big part of you having the life 
that you want to have and enjoying life on a level that may seem somewhat impractical to you at the moment. Alrighty, that was crazy. But I'm telling you, if you're willing to put yourself in a position where you can understand the process, understand the situation of getting what you want, enjoying life, and living life in a manner that you find very acceptable, that you find really possible. And I'm, I'm telling you, anyone can do this. Anyone can do this. And this is something else I'm thinking about getting. So anyone can do this. Anyone can set this up. It's just a matter of you sitting down, planning it out, and working on it. That's all it takes for you to be able to be that person, for you to be able to understand what it takes and be put yourself in that position to get anything that you want. When I was a kid, I never thought that I would see a million dollars times multiple in a year. Never occurred to me, never thought about it, never understood it. And as I worked on myself and I worked on my business, and as I built up stuff, that became a reality. That became a possibility of my life. And what I'm saying here is you can also experience this if you sit down and do the work and stop looking for shortcuts and looking for hacks. And you know, if you said, all right, it's 2023, by 2026, I wanna be here. Give yourself time to make that happen. Give yourself an opportunity to make that happen. Give yourself the ability to make that happen. And you could literally shock yourself every day of the week. You could be totally blown away at the things that you can accomplish very quickly, should I add you, because people think getting stuff done in a few days or a few weeks or something like that, that's super quick. Uh, typically, that's not normal for you to go from being a regular person making 35,000 a year to a person now making 250,000. That's not normal. And you'll see a lot of people online talk about, there's a girl who's like, I was broke two years ago, now I made multiple millions of dollars. And it's real interesting, she doesn't actually get into the process of how she made these millions of dollars. I see this all of the time on YouTube. I have done X, Y, and Z, and I will, I wanna share it with you but I do not get any, any of, of the process, any of the things required to make this situation happen. That's completely foreign. That's completely outside of the documentation. That is just not part of the conversation. And this is one of the things that I wanna talk to people about is setting up this conversation, setting up this documentation where you can get the things that you want out of life, live life on the terms that you want, and it's practical and it's possible if you just sit down and do the work. And that's where we run into a lot of problems because we have a lot of people who will actually um, get a course and they will not do the work. They will not do the work. And then they'll be wondering, it's like, how come I don't have these results? And the reason you don't have these results is because you don't wanna do the work. That's the problem. People don't wanna do the work. So just sit down with yourself, 
Think about the things that you want out of life. Think about the things that you need to do and just come back, check this video out, watch it a few times. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you're not, hit the bell notification, make sure you do that. And watch this video three to five times to get everything because what I gave you in this video is life changing advice. If you do this, you will have a very different, a very elegant, a very simple process to becoming very successful in life doing these things. This is Glendon Cameron. I'll see you in the next one.